For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Well, here we are, the mid part of, uh, of March, uh, coming up on spring. And as you can see behind us, we've got some, some new uh, pictures, as Bruce Holiday calls them, eye candy in the background with some blossoming trees in front of the, the kids in uh, downtown St. Clair. We welcome you. Uh, this is sort of a special little show today. Uh, one of our guests was unable to make it, had some automobile problems, so we dragged in Joe Morgalock. Joe, nice to see you. Nice Joe to see you, Paul. is uh, new to uh, this side of the camera because uh, he's a, a student up at SC4 yep. and works for a wonderful place called Jets Pizza here in St. Clair. That's right. And uh, he and I met and he said, gee, I'd like to get involved. So he got involved and uh, tell me what happened. Yeah, so a little bit of backstory. When I was in high school, I was looking up at the class slides. We'd put up the slides and the announcements, and we'd watch them during our, our little seminar time during class. And one of the slides that I saw flash up there was, oh, we're looking for announcers for, for maybe the girls' soccer team. I thought, oh, that oh, sounds, really? sounds really fun. So, yeah. you know, many months pass by. We have a COVID lockdown. Forget all about it, and then I'm working at Jets. I'm making pizzas, and I see a ticket for <laughs> Paul Dingaman. And I'm like, hey, that was the guy on the slide about the soccer team. Yeah. So I made sure I took your pizza out to you that day, and I remember speaking with you and double saying, Double pepperoni hey, on it. Double pepperoni, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, hey, man, I think I'd like to get involved. I, yeah. Soccer wasn't necessarily an immediate concern at that time. We yeah. weren't doing sports quite yet, but no. didn't take long for you to have me in the, in the control room working on some cameras, things like that, and here we are. Well, it, it, you got to have the passion, you got to have the desire to do this kind of thing. And you certainly do. And I think you've got the ability to take you a long way. So we came up with a program that uh, we had done numbers of years ago called On the River, where we had a host and she uh, would talk about things in a short period of time, four, five, six minutes. And we thought we'd reinstate that program with you. So uh, we came up with an open. And if Sam in the control room will roll, roll that open, We'll talk more about the show. Sam? All right, that's the open for the, uh, the big On the River show. Great, you picked the music. Yep. You didn't play the music, but you picked the music. Yeah, we picked it And uh, so what happens on the show? So on the show, what we like to do is I'll look through press releases, I'll look through, maybe do some of my own research and uh, gather some stories that I find interesting for what's going on in the community. A lot of times there's opportunities to get involved. You can yeah. sign up for the email list and get notified about things or you can go participate in an event. So to spread that information throughout the people in our coverage area, I think it's a really useful tool. And then they can share the information they find if it doesn't specifically pertain to them. Maybe they've got family members or friends who could enjoy some of the events happening downtown, other things like that. So to go around and I'll use the internet or my own iPhone and collect some photos yeah. and put some graphics up, I think it's a good opportunity. Well, it's, it's a great opportunity to build a show and learn how this, this, all this stuff works here. Mm -hmm. uh, the show uh, runs numbers of times, multiple times, like up to 12 times a day. That's right. Because it's, it's a short little piece. It runs uh, five to seven to eight, nine minutes, depending upon how much information you have to share. And uh, uh, we think it's really a good service to the community to, as you said, if you're the American Legion or the uh, AMVETS or whoever, uh, anywhere in our coverage area, and our coverage area goes from Davis Road on the north to Broadbridge Road on the south from the river up to I-94 on cable channel six, Comcast channel six. Uh, we also share the show, your show, and all of our programming on uh, multiple Facebook pages, multiple YouTube channels. So there's multiple chances of people to see Joe. Yeah, I think the exposure is great. I really, I took an interest in it right <laughs> out of the gate, and I knew right away that this was going to be something I'd be interested in. I thought it was going to be really fun, and I'd tell some great stories about you know my time in the control room or in yeah. front of the camera. But I was surprised I started to really take an interest in it as a potential career. Broadcasting, yeah. journalism, totally interests me. Every step of the process for me, it's, it's truly fun. It's not work for me. 
And so to come in here every week and maybe get a little bit better, kind of build myself a little resume if I ever move on from Channel 6, God forbid. But well, <laughs> move from 6 to 7. We've had, we, over the years, we've had some real success uh, uh, with people. Uh, you see them every once in a while on Channel 7. Uh, Justin Rose was started here doing play-by-play uh, -play of, uh, of volleyball and, uh, and soccer, I think, and some football. And uh, uh, there's just a whole list of uh, people that have gone on to the industry. So we're proud of that, and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we can help you too. Yeah, I would love that. And I think, you know, even still just in St. Clair, like, to, to look back on this and be able to tell my kids these stories and share the videos with them, and it's, it's interesting because it kind of anchors down to our little town, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not like something you would see on the national television because no, no, no. I get to do the little thing where I talk about the freighters at the end of the show and introduce yeah. people to different boats that I really like. And we talk about, you know, there's just a little couple local bands playing downtown this right. weekend. Things like that are really yeah. interesting. His name is Joe, and he's on a program called On the River, which appears uh, 12 or 13 times a, a day. Uh, here on uh, CTV Mondays through, or Tuesdays through Saturdays and Sundays, and then uh, we do a fresh program. So that's uh, that's about it, and um, we thank you for doing it. You're doing a good job. Thank you, Paul. That's about it for this the short edition of the Focus Program. Coming up next week, we got a couple good guests: one from the St. Clair County uh, Area Library System, and then a man from the, the VFW down in. Uh, uh, Algonac talking about uh, a new memorial that they're putting up in uh, Marine City. So lots of information for you right here on your community TV channel, CTV Channel 6. See you soon. Paul Dingerman here. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingerman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.